Aerospace is a 99 fly. Hi, we have a new today, and she is the. I am the chairperson of the Houston chapter of the 99s. We started out, uh, we have about 115 members in our Houston area. We have meetings all over Houston, first Saturday of the month at 11 a.m. We'll choose uh, airports like this one at uh, Angleton, Gulf Coast uh, Regional Airport in Brazoria County, LBX, if you're into the airport designator tour. We'll also do West Houston Airport, which is by WS, Conroe Airport, Cooks Airport, but most importantly, at Sugarland, we want to make sure that we can reach and come to you to bring more people into Houston to our Houston chapter of 99s, which is a women's organization. It started in 1929 with Amelia Earhart, and there was only 99 women, so we decided to move Houston to 99s. Uh, and then we've built chapters all over the world, and uh, they held meetings all over the world. But this one is in Houston, and we have a new member. <laughs> I remember that I wanted you coming too. And a new flyer too. Yeah. And so we welcome and we want to motivate you and cheer you on. It's all about you attaining your dream. So we want you to attain your dream. We want you to be a flyer. Yeah, amen. Thank you. And look, you can be flying one of these wonderful RV, uh, I think this is an RV4 aircraft, special paint job. Yeah, I'll let you So thank you again, and you are wonderful, Rosa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye. This is November. She's the president. Tell us where we're at. It's a woman, but we have a one man and another man. <laughs> 99 woman. It was the early 1900s. Aviation was booming and women joined that craze. They became wing walkers, daredevils, and stunt pilots. Others jumped from parachutes or they hung from wheels of the aircraft. But not all women aviators were daredevils. Some made their living hopping flights. Others were flying instructors. They were breaking records. They held speed, endurance, and altitude records. It was the summer of 1929, and 20 female pilots took to the skies in a transcontinental air race from Santa Monica, California to Cleveland, Ohio, the first women's national air derby. Among the women who competed were Poncho Barnes, known for smoking cigars and cursing like a sailor, Hollywood starlet Ruth Elder, and aviation icon Amelia Earhart. Over the course of nine days, the women challenged gender stereotypes while enduring mechanical, navigational issues, and threats of sabotage. Ultimately, 14 pilots finished, successfully transversing the route in a time long before GPS and smartphones. They became legends in aviation and set an important precedent in history. Following the Derby, 99 female pilots accepted an invitation to join a new organization called the 99s, which remains active to this day. In 1942, the U.S. dealt with a huge pilot shortage. To help fill the gap, women were trained to fly military planes, allowing men to be released for combat duty overseas. This elite group of female pilots was known as the Women Air Force Service Pilots, WASP for short. As part of this program, more than 1,100 women flew a variety of military aircraft. 1944, after the war was ended, the WASP were disbanded. Through the 50s and 60s, women continued to air race, and in 73, the airlines hired their first women pilots. Three decades after the end of the WASP, the United States Air Force in 1975, hired their first female pilots again. Fly. Fly. 
In 1978, NASA hired their first five women astronauts. Sally Ride became the first American female to fly in space. In 1987, Dr. Mae Jameson became the first African American woman in space. Eileen Collins was selected to be an astronaut in 1990, flew the space shuttle as a pilot in 1995, and then she became the first and only female commander of the U.S. shuttle in 1999. Today, the 99s are still going strong. We're professional pilots for airlines, industry, and governments. We're pilots who teach and pilots who fly for pleasure. We're pilots who are technicians and mechanics, but first and foremost, we are women who love to fly. Put on the white shirt, the one with four gold bars. Or the space suit and fly this thing to Mars. Aerospace is a 99 fly. Aerospace is a 99 fly. Aerospace is a 99 fly. Hello and congratulations to the 99s on the tremendous occasion of your 95th anniversary. I am Audrey Johnson, founder and soloist of Of The I Sing, a patriotic performance company dedicated to bringing American heritage to life through music. It is an honor to contribute to your celebration. Oh, Lady Lindy, Lady Lindy, here's to you. Your pluck has shown the world what Yankee girls can do. You sailed through the heavens to reach another shore. That and nothing more, that is true. But Lady Lindy, as you soared far up above, you sailed into a nation's heart, a nation's love. 